Parti Warisan Presiden Datuk Seri Muhammad Syafi Abdal has trained his guns on Datuk Seri Haji Ji Noor blaming the Chief Minister for the political mess in Sabah. He said he sympathised with the Sabah people for having to go through another political uncertainty in the state. However, the former Chief Minister pointed out that the laws within the state constitution should be adhered to. He said this at a press conference at the party headquarters today. He said the state constitution spelled out that the party leader who commands the most support from state assemblymen should be appointed the chief minister. Yang dikeluarkan oleh Datuk Ajiji, ya, itu akan sedikit sebanyak akan menimbulkan beberapa kekeliruan yang berlaku. Ya, kena kita faham dan tahu bahawa daripada perlembagaan di Sabah. Kalau diberi may act in this discretion, ini artikel 10 kurungan 2, the performance of the following function. Satu, appointment of the chief minister. Kedua, withholding the consent to a request for dissolution of the state legislative assembly. Tapi dalam keadaan ini juga, ada klosa yang dikatakan dalam kurungan 3, ya, yang menyatakan bahawa kurungan apa ni enam artikel enam kurungan tujuh tiga shall appoint a chief minister as a member of legislative assembly who in his judgment is likely to command the confidence of a majority of a members of assembly and shall appoint the other members mentioned in clause two in accordance with the advice of the chief minister from among the members of the legislative assembly lepas itu if the chief minister ceases to command the confidence of majority, legislature would then, unless the request of the TYT, dissolution. Yeah, mananya only TYT can resolve. Itu kurungan tujuh itu.